<laughs> Welcome back to Lion Lunch Hour. Baltimore's own Pinky Cole, better known as a slutty vegan, is continuing to grow her brand from her popular plant-based burger restaurant. Get on in here. Come on in, Kevin. Yes, yes. Her new cookbook. I had the chance to talk with her before she wrapped her book tour called The Pinky Cole Experience. Take a look at this. You have this new cookbook. Yes. Eat Plants B. Yes. <laughs> You're good when it comes to the titles, right? or the, the names of the items on the menu. Talk yes. about that. Start with the name. What's in the name? There's so much in the name. <laughs> um, you know, I called my brand Slutty Vegan because I redefined what it means to be a slut. It's not provocative. It's not racy. It's not sexy. I just wanted to add power to words. Mm -hmm. And I did the same thing when I created my cookbook, Eat Plants. And I'm so excited about people getting the opportunity to take the experience home. When you come to Slutty Vegan, it's a whole vibe. It's a party. Um, you have a really good time. And I wanted you to feel like that when you cracked open my cookbook and made 100% plant-based recipes that you will definitely follow. Yeah, you definitely make it fun. I can remember years ago, I was in Atlanta at a game, mm -hmm. and I saw all these people lined up outside of a food truck, and I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> Slutty vegan. Slutty <laughs> vegan, <laughs> yes. Are patiently you? waiting in yes, line, though. And yes, and they were patiently, and they were happy yes. to wait in line because it was worth it. I mean, it's mm -hmm. certainly one of a kind. Are you still limiting two burgers per person? There there's still a limit uh -huh. because there are still lines. Yes. But that just shows you that we have been doing something right for the last four years. You're branching out, getting more brick and mortar mm -hmm. stores. You're on tour now. Yes. Uh, talk about that and taking Slutty Vegan uh, to the next level. Well, first of all, to be on tour and we started as a restaurant is just like beyond me. Yeah. But, um, you know, we have been doing so much. We're expanding the brand. We're opening up new locations. We are just making the footprint as big as possible. Slutty Vegan started as a ghost kitchen, turned food truck, turned brick and mortars, and now we are a household name. Like, and I gotta pinch myself every day that I wake up, like, this is really my life. Like, being vegan, now I get to show the world that you can reimagine food, and we are not stopping at just brick and mortars. This is a lifestyle brand, and we are getting people to tap into the lifestyle. You're from Baltimore, correct? I am from Baltimore. East Baltimore, to be correct. All right. <laughs> and now you're basically conquering the world. I am, I am conquering the world with Baltimore on my chest. Uh, and how does that feel? It feels really good. Um, it feels good to know that somebody like me who grew up in the inner city streets of Baltimore really rise above and can go out in the world and be great and really come back and put on for my city. That feels really good. It feels good to see my parents still have life in their body, to know that somebody that came from them has a massive level of success. And I'm still nowhere where I want to be, but I know that I'm making my people proud. She is just spectacular. Mr. Foodtastic, how proud of you to be her executive chef? I'm very proud of the Slutty Vegan brand yeah. as a whole. We have a lot of stuff on the horizon, new locations. Of course, she's from Baltimore. Uh -huh. So you can imagine the location may be coming here. She's got a great cookbook. She's got a biscuit recipe in there that I may or may not have helped with. Really? Has she yeah. had what we just had? She's had a few things. Yeah. Had, <laughs> That's why she's the executive she's chef. Yeah. She's 